Hey gang, it's Platt here, and we're going to talk about another great wine varietal today. Uh, we're going to talk about one that is not necessarily as popular as some of the other wine varietals, but still a very important part of the wine industry, and that is Cabernet Franc. Cabernet Franc is one of the most popular black wine grapes out there. Um, it's one of the 20 most popular or most grown wine grapes in the world, even though it might not have the names like, you know, name like Pinot Noir or Chardonnay or what have you. Um, Cabernet Franc is primarily known for being used to blend with Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot in the production of uh, Bordeaux wines. Uh, its origins date back to the 1700s where, where it's believed to have started in the Loire Valley of uh, France but then ended up being planted throughout most of France uh, shortly after. Um, analysts aren't 100% sure of the grapes that Cabernet Franc come from, but they are certain that Cabernet Franc is a parent to several important grapes. Uh, Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc gave us Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Cabernet Franc is also a parent to Merlot and Carmenere. Um, a vast majority of the world's planting of Cabernet Franc is in France, but it's also grown in other regions like Italy, Argentina, Chile, New Zealand. Um, in recent years, it's become popular in Hungary, where Cabernet Franc works well in a cool, cool climate, and in Hungary, it's really taken off, and they're actually producing some excellent varietal wines there. Uh, in Canada, they're growing it on the Niagara Peninsula, and it's being used in the production of ice wines. If you've never tried Canadian ice wines, I suggest you give them a try. Excellent product. Here in the U.S., um, Cab Franc is being grown in California and in Washington mainly, and they produce a warmer weather climate version of the wine. Uh, Cab Franc, a lot of people put into two categories, warm climate Cab Franc, and cool climate Cab Franc, and there's a little bit of a difference between the two. Uh, the warmer weather Cab Francs tend to have softer fruit notes, a little less green notes uh, in them. Uh, we're going to use Cabernet Sauvignon as kind of a comparing contrast wine to this, and it works because of the parent uh, child relationship between the two, and also because Cabernet Sauvignon is so popular. Most people have at least tried it before, so this kind of gives you a reference point. Uh, Cabernet Franc tends to be lighter bodied, lighter color than Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it's a, it produces a medium uh, tannin, medium alcohol wine, which means the tannin level is a little lower than Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, medium plus acidity on this wine, which means it is a candidate to age a little bit. Um, Cab Franc tends to be a little more fruit perfumed on the nose than a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the cool climate or classic style Cabernet Francs tend to have more tart fruit than the soft fruit of a warmer climate Cab Franc and tend to be more green or a green bell pepper is a, uh, is a, is a way a lot of people will describe uh, the certain taste notes on this wine. Um, Food pairing wise, we're going to pair this with hearty fish dishes, grilled beef, and soft cheeses. The uh, particular one we're going to try today is called, I hope I'm saying this right, Cal Cou Cabernet Franc. Uh, come, it's a 2013 vintage, comes in at 13.5% ABV. Uh, the term Cal Cou translates into healing doctor or magician. Uh, this particular wine is from Chile. It comes from the, hope I'm saying this right too, Col Col Colchuca Valley. Um, so let's give her a try. Yeah, I'm going to say a little, just a shade softer on the nose from Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, just looking through the glass, not much lighter than uh, Cab Sauv, but you can, there is some transparency. So let's give her a taste.
All right, that's nice. Um, I definitely get the acidity on the side of the tongue, even though it's not a lot. Um, I'm not going to say mouth-watering, but, but there is a little acidity. Um, I'm going to say this, this probably shades to the warm, warmer climate style, but because I'm not picking up any tart fruit, um, maybe a little raspberry. So they, I guess you have softer fruit. I'm going to say this is definitely not as complex as a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the tannin level is for sure lower. Um, I will say I can see why this would be more of a blending wine than necessarily a straight varietal. Um, not a lot of complexity here, just in my opinion. Um, overall, a nice wine. Um, I can see, though, where, again, matched perfectly with a bigger wine, it might add softer fruit to a bigger wine or might add some acidity to it um yeah i'm, I'm gonna say on the last couple of wines this might be the most disappointing that being that being said i'm not saying it's a bad wine but i could see where this variety might be getting more productive and being blended well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always leave them in the comment section. Or you can contact me on the Twitter page. And one more thing before I head out. I do have a slight announcement. Um, in, my plan to, uh, in, in my plans to become the uh, big YouTube sensation I've always wanted to be and uh, in the search for world dominance, I have started actually a merchandise page. I've had a couple people ask me about these, the, the shirt I always wear, whatever, and I, for fun, I've decided to put up a little shop where if you want to buy one of these shirts, and I'm creating a couple other shirts, and it's the Platar Channel Shop, and I'll leave a link down below if for some reason you actually wanted one of these, you could check it out, and if not, I totally understand. Well, until next time, bottoms up.